going on vinyl community welcome to another video with the record spinner today's video is one that i have been waiting to do for quite some time i am going to be doing an unboxing of the new ghost album prequel my copy finally came in just about two weeks after the release date of friday june 1st i opted for uh, postal service media mail since that was the cheapest so it kind of took its time getting here uh there was no way in hell i was going to pay 20 bucks for overnight shipping but Regardless of that said, uh, better late than never, because I know I'm a little late on the Ghost Prequel unboxing bandwagon, but I did want to cover it on the channel. And well worth the wait, because this album is one that I have been waiting uh, just simply in terms of it being released. Uh, Ghost is a band that I have grown to love uh, for about a year so far, and I've managed to get all their uh, albums on vinyl and pre become a pretty big fan overall. So I'm going to stop babbling, and we're going to get into this unboxing. Now, the version that I'm going to show off on this video is one of the first kind of limited deluxe editions that appeared on the website when the album was announced and it was available for pre-order. This version being the deluxe vinyl version which comes with a bonus 7 inch. Both the main LP and the 7 inch are on red vinyl with black swirls and it also comes with a 3D lenticular cover and a poster as well. So enough of the babbling, let's get into the vinyl. So let's open this up. And it turns out that there's a lot of cool, interesting, uh, limited uh, vinyl pressings of this album. There's, of course, the uh, standard deluxe version, which comes on clear vinyl with black smoke. Um, the FYE that I work at did a pressing as well, limited to a thousand copies. And even Best Buy even did a version, which is quite surprising. So let's see what we have. Packaged very well. No seam splits, which I am very happy to see. And here it is. Let's see if I can make out the 3D effect on camera. You can kind of see it. Very, very cool. Good stuff. I can, I can hear the seven inch kind of sliding its way in. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Let's get the shrink wrap off. All right. That little knife that I'll try to get the plastic out of. Okay, so you can definitely kind of see it a little bit better with the shrink wrap off. Here is the back cover. Very nice. Get some close-ups of that artwork. That is sick. Of course, I was able to examine the artwork um, when my store got in their vinyl copy, so I was kind of examining it then. Uh, so before this album was released on June 1st, we were treated to two tracks on, from the album. There was the main single, Rats, which is absolutely excellent. And then we also got Dance Macabre, which I think is probably going to be a bigger hit than Square Hammer, hands down. It just has the hooks right all throughout the song. So let's check out what it's like. Now, I did get a... Um, a digital download of this album the day before release and my dad actually picked up the deluxe CD version uh, which comes with the um, with the songs that are on the bonus 7 inch but I've been holding back from listening to this album for so long because I want to experience it on my turntable setup and that way I can burn it on a CD and then it'll stay in my car for months and months and months so here we go okay Right off the bat, I'll show off the poster. So it has the album artwork, which is rather cool. Very nice. Just basic stuff. And let's take a look here. So it comes in a printed inner sleeve. And here you have Cardinal Copia, the new frontman, or Tobias Forge, with the nameless ghouls. And then we also have some lyrics, so you can sing along to the songs, and you have some credits. Very nice. And let's take a look at what the, the vinyl looks like. I'm going to try my best to work my way around it very carefully, because I don't want to scuff it along the edge of the printed inner sleeve. I will be putting this, of course, in a nice anti-static inner sleeve. And wow, wait, holy crap, this looks beautiful. I'm being very careful and there we go 
So, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is very nice. Very nice red vinyl with little flecks of black in there. Very nice. Uh, let's see if I can decipher the dead wax. Uh, there's some etchings in here, which I believe is Joe Laporta. He's the guy that mastered this record, so I'm assuming he mastered it digitally and then also did the vinyl. I believe that's the case. And then I can't really tell what the pressing plan is. Let me see if I can really decipher it. LVR, that's Limer Vista. MRP. Not quite sure. Might be furnace pressing or might be GZ vinyl. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, looks very nice. Very, very happy with the pressing. Does not look warped, which is good. Very nice. Try to put this back carefully. And let's check out the 7 inch. Now, it looks like, unfortunately, the 7 inch does have a little bit of crumplage on the bottom, which is kind of unfortunate. And there is a little bit of a split up top. Uh, but I don't know. It could have been packaged outside of the main LP and not just stuck inside. Uh, this will get a home in one of my um, one of my seven inch boxes. Being very careful once again. And here is the seven inch. So same thing, red vinyl with black swirls. A little bit of black on this. Uh, so, the two bonus tracks are It's a Sin, which I believe is by the Pet Shop Boys, and Avalanche, which is a Leonard Cohen song. So, Ghost Tense still likes to do the covers, so that's why like we've gotten things like the If You Have Ghost EP, the Pope Star EP, and a couple other bits. So, very nice. Yeah, looks pretty good overall. So, I am looking forward to giving this album a spin. I have been waiting very much long for it, so it is going to be well worth the wait, I am sure of it. The reviews I've heard are rather good. Um, it's not really as heavy, hard-hitting as some of the others, uh, but that's okay. You know, bands can't stay the same forever. This band can't be doing op Opus Eponymous forever. they got to change it up, which is understandable. So yes, that is it, and I'll wrap this up by showing the spine, see if you can make that out. Focus. You know what it says. It says Ghost Brick Hell. So there you go. That is my unboxing of the limited deluxe vinyl edition of the Ghost album Brick Hell. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And if you did, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning.